Today is Friday, December 12th. I'm going to do shoulders. Normally I do shoulders on Thursday, but the more I get into this, it's like my weeks are dragging out, so the rotation's off. Because I like to split split it from like doing chest on like Tuesday and then shoulders on Thursday. And you're going to see as I do this, I like the more you watch my videos and stuff, you'll realize on chest day, I'll do one upper incline press because it's got one to do, I'm going to lean back and be in a vertical stance so when I'm pressing up it's going to incorporate some of my upper chest for a secondary movement and that's coming from like some sort of pressing movement over the head. So with this I'm going to do one overhead and the rest is going to be like isolations. And I, I work trap my traps on, on shoulder day versus back day because I've, I per personally, it's a traps are universal muscles so you can work them on back but I prefer them on shoulder because I want to focus more exercises on building a wider back, a thicker back, in different parts of my back. And then since it's already incorporating some of these movements with shoulder, it really works the traps. So I'm going to finish the shoulder workout with my traps because it's already triggered a lot. But that's my preference. Everybody does it different. It works amazing for me because that's what gets me results beating all the most robotic in the world. With that being said, I'm going to do my first working set now. All right, so before I start my first set, I'm gonna, I'm gonna warm up about three, three sets with about half the weight I'm gonna start out with. Probably about 12 to 15 reps, sometimes 10. It just depends on how I feel. Today's a really cold day, so I like to keep my warm, uh, keep the muscles really warm before I start pounding the crap out of them. So get a high back so I can lean. Some people don't like using a high back because they want to work more of the stabilizer muscles. Well, good for them because I want to not work on my stabilizers and I want to pound the crap on my shoulders. That's the whole point. So I'm going to lean back a little bit so I can go like an incline and keep the elbows in front and drive it up. It's going to pound the head of the front of your delt a lot more. So that's my goal. Keep the elbows out in front. I'm going to stop right about the chin level. I don't go down all the way down because that causes a lot of problems in the shoulder. As I do this, as the years go by, I seem to get a lot more shoulder pop. I won't go up all the way either. That's, there's no point in going up all the way and locking the elbows. Like when I go there, I feel it like it hurts my elbows. So if you want to go all the way out, that's fine for you. I'm not here to ask you guys for your two cents and stuff like that because a lot of people see videos and they're criticizing all that and they go full locked out. But they haven't been lifting 20, 25 years either because they feel like they're an expert. But you'll realize that it's time and attention with the muscle so it's a happy medium. So with that being said, I'm going to warm up some more. You'll see the first and last set and I'll just move to the video like that so you have a better understanding of what I do, why I do, and how much I do. So with that being said, let me finish my warm up. Now for my first set, I got 245s. I'm still, I'm not going to go super ahead just yet because I'm still getting the warm up. But I'm going to keep my shoulder blades back and just depends on how I feel to the sets. To how many sets I do, I don't know yet. I'm going to just wait, I'm going on, I don't know. It's just really like I'm going to wing this as I go. It's all about a feel anyway. But your muscle's not going to get bigger just because you want it bigger. You got to listen to it. Time, it'll get there. Twelve. This is my fourth set. I slowly increase each set of ten. So it's two forty-fives, ten, two tens, three tens. I've got twelve reps for each one. We'll see how many this goes. I'm all about doing more reps, but not too many reps. It's time to attention that grows muscle. It's about healing the muscle, that's the key. The next exercise I'm going to do is a machine lateral. 
just like a lead race except you're using a machine. You got 150 pounds in the whatever the base weights. So probably about 170, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to look way heavier than this. So I sit higher up so I can put my elbows lower and I got some more range of motion when I do this. I'm going to stop right here. I don't go up higher because it rotates in the traps. And this isn't about training traps, it's about my shoulders. So, um, how many reps? We'll see. That's what I felt, so that's what I did. <laughs> so in doing this, this is my fourth set. So when I was in the process of doing this, I don't know, my shoulders started getting a lot tight, and I felt a lot of flush, and a lot of blood flush into the muscle. So I got this crazy pump going in my shoulder just doing this. So again, this is going to be my fourth set, and then I'm going to do front. These focus on the side, so I break my shoulders in sections. So I'm going to go about 15, 20, 20 reps. I've been going back and forth from 20 to 15. But it's been no lower than 15. Four set. That's 20. Now when I do this, this just varies what I'm feeling at the time. Sometimes I'll go heavy, sometimes I'll do this, and then I'll go heavy sets coming, I mean the next exercises and stuff. So I always like to perform either a side or front race after a shoulder press. So that's how I kind of do my, do, do my thing. For my third exercise I'm going to do a front race, but it's cable. So this is a cable front race. I was doing this one arm, then one arm front cable raise, or whatever you want to call it. Most people don't really know the names either. Trust me. As a profession, we just put it together. So I'm going to plant my feet here. I don't got brakes. So I might slip. I might come forward. I'll just keep this going. How many reps? 12, maybe. This is 150. Yeah. I'll just go about chin, nose level. I lean back to be like straight upwards if I'm if I could stand. It's all about the range of motion. Rah! 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 When I do this, I don't keep my arms straight out like most people. I'm like this, I'm like this. So if you're looking like this, I'm like this, ah, like caveman. I feel more of my front delts than somebody just doing this. When you're straight out, this is a weak position. That's fine. If you want to do a proper form, put 10 pounds on, like this, straight arm. Woo! Look at that, guys. Textbook form. Then you can throw the feet down, piss everybody off. It's your choice. Right, so this is my fourth set and I'm getting extremely tired. So fourth set I'm here. Overall, I did three warm-ups on Smith, then four working, do seven, then four over there, eleven. This is fifteen sets minus three warm-ups. So I'm like right at twelve sets. I still got rears and traps to do. All right, just gonna kick it. Either I count my sets, I count my sets, and I break my body parts in, like 
shoulder press, I'll do X amount, then it's like, okay, do one exercise, sides, fronts, rears, I split them up like that. Now how do I know what to do, either cable, machine, dumbbells, barbells, I listen, I listen inside here, I just kind of know, it takes years to understand that, but you lift heavier exercise first before smaller ones, like your back or your shoulders, it's not a big muscle, it doesn't need a lot, versus the front. So this needs to be a lot more than the back, but you want to make sure you hit that. A lot of people forget the rears, but you got to be a complete if you want to have a well-balanced body. So that's the two sets. Off to the next set. All right, for finishing off my shoulder, but not my traps, this is one exercise before I start my trap exercises. It's the, part, the back part of the, the shoulders, or the posterior. Anterior is the front part, so the opposite is the back. So, I'm just going to do this straight back. Now, my left tricep has been giving me problems, so I'm not going to go super wide like this, but I'm keeping it in like this. The key here is I'm going to squeeze it backwards like this and resist the back, resist it coming in. Just like squeeze to really feel it pull my muscle. This is 180 plus little pins, whatever, but it's all about a feel. So if I want to do 10, 12, 15, it just depends on how much weight, and you adjust how much weight by how many reps you want. I know that's confusing to shit what I just said, but what it basically means down, push yourself as hard as you can for about 10 to 15 reps. If you get 10 reps, it should be a lot more weight. If it's 15 weights, 15 reps, a little bit less weight. Put that in my tricep. You gotta be careful. I gotta concentrate. Oh. Up. All right, I didn't get it back as far because that weight right there was pulling the crap on the left tricep. When you, when it feels pull, I was pushing through the pain. It wasn't a, like so much in my my rear delts as it was in my left tricep. It felt like I was gonna rip off the muscle was gonna rip off, but I still kept it there going. But I'm gonna lower the weight and I'm gonna try to adjust my elbow somewhere to not feel the pain, because I don't need to damage that tricep, because then it'll suck other exercises. So I'm going to do about two, three sets here, and that's it. Now this is my fourth set, and believe it or not, I was playing around with it and it went from 180 pounds to 150, and instead of keeping my arms like this, it actually takes the pain to keep my arm way out in front, and keeping it like this, versus like this. Now, over the years of doing this, like having to always be out there, always doing appearances, even if I get injured or I have problems, I gotta keep going because the whole sport counts on me to take myself to the next level. Yeah, I've, all, I've had so many injuries from both wrists to both elbows to both shoulders, front, back, both chest, outside, inside, both back, lats, top, sides, all the way around. And this is the back of the tricep. So, you just make work, no excuses. I always find ways around it. Because there's so many way the sport's gonna grow because so many people count on me. So, just make it work. So, here we go. See, that doesn't cause, that doesn't cause problems in my left tricep. And I was like, is this enough weight to help me grow? Yes. So to make up for the less weight, I'll do more reps. Again, this isn't a big muscle, so I'll just do an extra set. I'm concentrating the take to focus on that back delt. All right, he's on fire. So, that's how you avoid an injury, to a certain degree. To finish my shoulder slash trap workout, I normally just do one, sometimes two track, trap exercises. When I do one, I'll do about five sets of that. Because I already work traps by doing some of this and this. It indirectly hits it some. So technically, my traps already get worked. So this is one specific, it's just down up. Now, 
But when it goes super heavy, I do the Smith. But the heaviest dumbbells here is 120. So I'll just rep them out 20, 25 times. But I like to manhandle these and really feel them in the muscle when I do this. Versus go boom boom. Right. And I always use a, a strap or a wrap or something to hold these in place. Right now I'm using Versa Grip. Because I can just barely, if you can see, I'm just holding this on with a couple fingers. I take out all the grip so I can control the weight. straight up it's more like just a little bit forward so it always keeps my my entire traps kind of in contraction so and between 20 and 25 reps that's what I'm feeling today every day just feels different depending on my mood depending on what music I'm listening to just a bunch of stuff so not straight up Lean just so forward, keep the head down a little bit for a greater stretch. Muscle fibers within the trap separate. The trap muscle for me is one of the muscles that I can fully, I can fully contract and fully fill. And that took years of, just years of doing this stuff. All these things I can just feel the muscle, like inside my skin, contract. It's really hard to explain, and some people don't think I'm full of crap. But some people out there that the best of the best know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like one of those karate people when they find the chi. It's like they know exactly how to whiplash the punch or whiplash the karate. They're so efficient at what to do. And that's exactly how I am. I just, I just know. I just feel it and I know. And I know how to push my limits and I know my limits. So don't compare to me. Understand you. Be the best you can be and that's what's going to get you the results. In the store, period. The Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store. <laughs>